Then let's talk about the peace talk process because this is very important for Afghan people. شما در جریان است که مذاکرات چهار جانبه سال بین پاکستان و افغانستان با وسایت چین و آمریکا شدیدا جریان داره و قرار است دور چهارمش به اصطلاح شروع شود که متأسفانه پاکستان در چهارمین دور شاذر نشد. از طرف دیگه پاکستان صادق نیست در تعهداتش. شما چی فکر میکنین در کل با این مذاکره سال و ایانا اگر پاکستان صادقانه عمل نکنه برخورد آمریکا چی خواهد بود در برابر شد؟ اگه مسئله را به چالش بکشه شما در این قسمت چی فکر میکنین و آیا واشنطن یا کانگرس آزر خواد بود که یک اکسل عمل جدی نشان بده؟ I think the peace process is necessary but as many peace processes are it take a long time they require patience there will be failures before there are successes and even the successes will have a lot of the shine taken off of them. There'll be something wrong with the successes. Mm -hmm. Just because it is a, a very, um, especially in Afghanistan, uh, it's very intense. I think, what, I think what ultimately we need to understand in the United States is that for the Taliban, the Taliban are generally are Afghans. So it's not like they're leaving the country. They, it is part of, it is, it is their country. But we in the United States, I think don't want to have the Taliban be predominant when it comes when the peace process ends. The Taliban has to accept that they're a, a supremacy of the national constitution, has to renounce violence, has to renounce ties to other to terrorists and other terrorist groups. Otherwise, it cannot be an, a, will, and will not be a legitimate uh, partner in the future. And the United States needs to stand behind uh, the Afghan uh, government uh, when it comes to the peace process. The Afghan government chooses to uh, negotiate with the Taliban. Uh, the United States can't say you can't do that, but I think from a U.S. perspective, we do want to see the premise, the supremacy of this constitution. We want to see the Taliban renounce violence and see the Taliban uh, renounce ties with terrorists and ter uh, terrorists and terrorist groups. Otherwise, I, I think that we wouldn't be very. Um, uh, confident that the res that the peace process results would hold would would hold hold together. Do you think that Pakistan will be honest regarding this process? Pakistan صادق نیست در تعهداتش. شما چی فکر میکنین در کل با این مذاکره یا این پروسس سال و ایانا اگر پاکستان صادقانه عمل نکنه برخورد آمریکا چی خواهد بود در برابر شد؟ چی اگر مسئله را به چالش بکشه شما در این قسمت چی فکر میکنین و آیا واشنگتن یا کانگرس آزر خواهد بود که I think it's clear. Well, I won't say I think it's clear to everybody. Um, Let it, me ask this it, a question oh, I'm sorry. and Daddy too. Yeah. Can we connect that Pakistan is the one who is the process? I think it's clear to me that uh, Pakistan is a difficult negotiating partner. It's they've been a difficult negotiating partner for the United States, mm -hmm. and they've been uh, certainly a difficult negotiating partner for Afghanistan. I don't think Pakistan respects Afghanistan mm -hmm. uh, as much as it uh, 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 as much as it should um, I don't know why I don't know the history on that but the truth is Afghanistan is a country it has sovereign borders they need to be respected and Pakistan needs to respect those borders and respect Af the Afghans um, and, and, and the Afghan government uh, if it doesn't obviously it's going to be a more difficult uh, negotiating partner thank you so much uh, سرتاج عزیز مشاور امنیتی صدر اعظم پاکستان که اظهار کرد خودش با سراحت که سران طالبان و فامیلایشان امیشان به پاکستان هستند یعنی غیر مستقیم کنای آمیز و نمود کردن که نفوز بالای طالبان دارن یعنی میتونن که طالبان سر میز مذاکره آذر کنه یا برعکسش نظر خاص شما چی از دی قسمت اگر ای کار نکدن با توجه به نفوز داشتن بالای طالبان بعد از اکشن یا اکسل عمل ایالات متحده امریکا چی خواهد بود؟ What do you think? What will be the U.S. reaction on that statement? Um, I think that there are... Uh, are you agree with me? Pakistan uh, support Taliban? Uh, elements in the Pakistan intelligence service mm -hmm. do, do support um, Pakistan, Pakistani Taliban. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't think... Uh, I can't tell you if it's the policy of the Pakistan government. Mm -hmm. But th that's part of the problem, is that if part of the, um, part of the uh, Pakistani military supports the, the Taliban, then it's a problem enough. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'd also note as well 
uh, that the the um, uh, Afghan government should not try to deflect all of its problems onto Pakistan. Mm -hmm. There are terrorists, there are Taliban in Afghanistan. There are, they have, there are strongholds in Afghanistan. And there are things that the Afghan government can do and ought to do as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not, for me, it's just not enough to say, well, Pakistan is making it a problem. Afghan, Afghanistan needs to control its part of the problem too. And that's been part of it's been one of the issues that we've had yeah. in, in Congress with the Afghan government in the past. Pakistan to change their policy toward Afghanistan. Let's talk in Delhi. مردم افغانستان یک توقع بسیار عظیم داره از مقامات ایالات متحده آمریکا مخصوصا شما کنگرسمنا که چرا فشار نمیارین سر پاکستان سر حکومت ملی نظامی و ملکیش که یک کمک تغییر عقیده به تغییر پالیسی به تا از سیاست های دوگانیش درویش جلوگیری کنه تا واقعا یک ثبات یا صلح دایمی در افغانستان بیاید آیا این مسئله را شما متوجه شدین یا می خواهید تحریم های وضع کنین درد دل مردم افغانستان بسیار فراوان است I think it's important to um, understand that a lot of people have a lot of expectations of the United States mm -hmm. uh, around the world mm -hmm. um, but uh, if you were if those countries were to do everything that the United States would do I suppose those countries would not have the sovereignty that they would expect. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, we have high expectations of the Afghan government that will root out all corruption. Why isn't that getting done? Mm -hmm. uh, we, could, we could respond the same way with some, with some responses as well. At the end of the day, if the peace talk process, then what will be the final reaction of U.S., especially Congress, toward Pakistan? In the end, if the process of the in Afghanistan در افغانستان موفق نشه موزیگیری ایالات متحده آمریکا در قبال سیاست های دوگانه پاکستان چه خواهد بود تاریخ؟ Well, I, I guess a, a, the way to answer that is I've, I have found in my um, 15 years, 16 years in Congress and dealing with, dealing with Afghanistan and Pakistan um, there's nothing final about anything so I, I doubt that there will be a final answer from, from Congress um, about uh, Pakistan or about Afghanistan um, we we want to we in the United States we want to have an Afghan Afghanistan that is uh, not a safe haven for terrorists. It's not a launching pad for terrorist groups against the United States or anywhere else. We want a stable, regular relationship with Afghanistan. We want them to have a, a military that's responsive to the civilian authority. We want a growing economy and trade relationships with Afghanistan. That's what we want. So if we don't. If that doesn't happen because of something Pakistan does or Afghan, Afghanistan does or any other country in the region, we still are working towards that. So uh, I think that um, there is a, a increasing lack of patience with um, uh, uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Uh, and sometimes that lack of patience is um, uh, equally put upon both countries. Sometimes it's more impatient with Pakistan and sometimes more impatient with Afghanistan. But, you know, it's going to be probably the next president's, the next U.S. president's um, role mm -hmm. um, to play more than this president. But meantime, we have work to do and in, you in, think the, that in the Obama region. policy was successful uh, toward Afghanistan? Uh, was it successful? Uh, not not 100%. Generally, you generally, think it was generally, successful in this 15, 16 years in Afghanistan? Uh, well, first it was, it was President Bush first and then President Obama. And uh, I think we're farther along, but nowhere near where we need to be. Mm -hmm. General message for Afghan women. Bien bien doy aziz ki ek sawal da marude uquq zan kunem. Let's talk about women in Afghanistan. Well, let me say this. Um, part of any peace process, any result of a peace process, has to, um, if it does include the Taliban, the Taliban need to recognize the supremacy of the Constitution, they need to renounce violence, they need to re uh, renounce ties to terrorists and terrorist groups, they need to respect the role of minorities and the role of women in Afghan society, culture, and government and leadership. Um, you can't, we've learned in the United States you can't build a successful country with half your population. You, can, you have to have the whole population um, pulling on the same oar, if you will. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that includes a strong role of strong women 
in Afghanistan, for Afghanistan. خب این دایره زیستی بود مسابقه اقتصادی ما با جناب رک لارسن کانگرسمن دموکرات از شهر واشنگتن دی سی آمریکا در قبال مسائل افغانستان با ایتی نیوز یا آریانا مستر کانگرسمن تینک یو سو مچ یو ار واندرفول پرسن آی ریلی لایک یور اپینین اند گود لک فور یو تو خب بین دای عزیز ای بود گفته شنودی ویجی ما با کانگرسمن رک لارسن کانگرسمن دموکرات از شهر واشنگتن دی سی که خدمت شما تقدیم شد خواهی نخواهی سوالاتی که ما مطرح کردیم در عد توان ای کنگرسمن جواب داد و ظاهرا معلوم میشه که ایالات متحده امریکا در تعهدات دراز مدتش در افغانستان باقی یا وفادار خواهد ماند و دیده شد و زمان ثابت خواهد کرد که چه تغییرات دیگه در افغانستان به وجود میایه اما تا جایی که با کنگرسمن لارسن صحبت کردیم تعهد طولانی مدت ایالات متحده امریکا و افغانستان پایدار خواهد بود آینده را خدا میدانه یک بار دیگه از همکارای عزیزم صبور جان کمال الدین و نصیر جان مهراب سمیمانه تشکر میکنم که با اوصله مندی فراخ و با وسایل بسیار پروفشنالشان این مصاحبه اختصاصی را ثبت و خدمت شما پیشکش نمودن تا دیدار بعد پدرود الله یار و مددگارتا